from the small and whimsical to large experimental spaces. The designs showcased at the International Contemporary Furniture Fair came in all shapes and sizes. The 20th annual ICFF took place in New York's Javits Center recently. Over 600 exhibitors from 38 countries gathered to showcase the latest innovations in products and materials for home, office, and commercial spaces. The fair included prototypes from emerging designers and new products from established brands. These are block, uh, block handles. Um, they look like Legos. There's a hole on the top piece that where you feed your boxing pieces wick through. So when you feed it through, it'll burn from top to bottom without stopping in the middle. This puff light, we start off by creating a fiberglass shell. Then we individually mold these pieces of fabric. We use an epoxy resin to harden them. Once they're hard, we break them out of the mold and then fasten them to the fiberglass shell. And once the material hardens, it then fastens everything to together. So it's a very uh, labor-intensive pro process, but you know, the finished product is quite Wonderful. So what I've done is to print uh, a section of Midsummer Night's Dream onto paper, cut it into sections, using different fonts, different sizes, and then they're stitched on. And it becomes a part of layered sense of a design that when you then put it into a room, it adds to a, a layer and a depth to the room. ICFF attracts a mix of people, including architects, interior designers, and store owners. If a design catches someone's eye, it may eventually appear in stores, photo shoots, or new hotspots. This is Elva Ramirez for The Wall Street Journal.